Hi welcome back everyone to the HVAC for Life channel. In this video we are going to see the heat recovery system in HVAC and its working principle. Heat recovery systems in air handling units are designed to recover energy from exhaust air and transfer it to the incoming fresh air stream. The heat recovery process helps to maintain comfortable indoor temperatures while reducing energy consumption and greenhouse gas emissions. Here are the types of heat recovery systems available in air handling units. Plate heat exchangers. Heat pipe heat exchangers. Run around coils. Rotary heat exchangers. Plate heat exchangers. Plate heat exchangers are compact devices that use a series of thin metal plates to transfer heat from one air stream to another. They are easy to install require minimal maintenance and have high thermal efficiency working principle of plate type heat exchanger two air streams are separated by metal plates which are usually augmented with fins warm exhaust air heats a fixed plate which in turn heats the incoming cool outdoor air on the other side of the plate the effectiveness is a function of plate gaps and lengths and air flow rate Advantages of plate heat exchanger No moving parts Little or no possibility of cross contamination of air streams airtight construction is required Easily cleaned when withdrawn from the duct Some media types permit latent heat transfer by using a permeable membrane Disadvantages of plate heat exchanger Static pressure between fresh air and exhaust air is limited depending on construction. A bypass may be needed to avoid overheating fresh air in summer and to reduce power when recovery is not needed. Care in filtration is required to avoid fouling of surfaces. Heat pipe heat exchangers. Heat pipe heat exchangers use a series of tubes containing a working fluid to transfer heat between air streams. They are highly efficient, have low air resistance, and are ideal for applications that require high levels of heat recovery. Working principle of heat pipe and components used. A sealed self-contained, liquid evaporating and condensing system. Hot air passes through the evaporator section and the cold air passes through the condenser side in a counterflow arrangement. Made of a material with high thermal conductivity. Example: copper or aluminum at both hot and cold ends. Working fluid or coolant is normally class I refrigerant (CFC). Advantages of heat pipe: robust construction, no moving parts, relatively high pressure difference between air streams is possible, limited by baffle separating plate. Little or no possibility of cross contamination of air streams. Airtight construction is required. Relatively high heat transfer rate. Disadvantages of heat pipe. Relatively high capital cost. Sensible heat transfer only, except when condensation occurs on heat pipe surfaces in warmer air stream. Bypass duct needed in summer to avoid overheating fresh air in systems without air cooling. Control by tilt mechanism may be too expensive to justify. Run around coils. Run around coils consist of two separate coils containing a heat transfer fluid that flows between them. They are easy to install, require minimal maintenance, and have high heat recovery efficiency. Working principle of run around coils. Fin tube copper coils placed in supply and exhaust air streams. A pump circulates water, glycol or other thermal fluid solution. The system utilizes the energy from the exhaust air stream to precondition the outdoor air. Can increase overall HVAC system effectiveness from 50% to 70%. Advantages of run around coils. Suitable for existing ductwork systems as it does not require adjacent fresh and exhaust ducts. relatively low capital cost compared to other systems no possibility of cross contamination of air streams 
The number of rows and fan spacing can be selected to suit the required heat transfer rate, permissible air pressure drop and exhaust air contaminants. Disadvantages of run around coils. Sensible heat transfer only except when condensation occurs on the coil in warmer air stream. Relatively low heat transfer efficiency, typically 45% for a high quality unit. Circulating pump and additional fan energy consumptions or running costs must be offset against heat recovery savings. Rotary heat exchangers. Rotary heat exchangers use a rotating wheel or drum to transfer heat between air streams. They are highly efficient and can recover both sensible and latent heat. Working principle of energy transfer wheel. A rotating wheel which allows sensible and or latent heat transfer between the incoming outdoor air and exhaust air in an HVAC system. The air duct connections are arranged so that each of the air streams flow axially through approximately one half of the wheel in a counterflow pattern. The range of heat recovery effectiveness is 70% to 80%. Cross leakage through the energy recovery wheels ranges from 2% to 5% between the supply and exhaust air streams. Advantages of energy transfer wheel. Some wheels can transfer both sensible and latent heat. Relatively high heat transfer efficiency till the 70% compared to other air to air heat recovery devices low energy consumption of the electric motor rotating the wheel matrix material and density can suit a wide range of applications can be used for either heating or cooling applications disadvantages of energy transfer wheel regular air filter maintenance and replacement is essential as the wheel is difficult to clean Static pressure in the fresh air stream must be higher than that in the exhaust air stream to limit cross contamination and for successful purge operation. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe the HVAC for Life channel and press notify icon. For more HVAC related videos, please share with your HVAC community. See you on next video. Thanks bye.